Hey, um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, sign up for uh, Legends of Venari and then uh, how to borrow a pass and also um, how to start playing, right? So you need a MetaMask wallet and then you want to go to this uh, website app.legendsofbinary.com slash uh, sign up and then connect wallet and then put in your email here put that there let's see if it works then you gotta agree and then create an account and then it's gonna send you an email right with a link so you want to go to your email and then once you have the link you can click on it or I'll just copy it to the URL and then it will automatically redirect you to the, uh, the login so you need uh, in order to to borrow a pass which is basically the score you play or you're you're renting a pass right um, you, you need the actual URL of the pass so I'm gonna so if you're a scholar you, you just uh, get the uh, the URL from your manager so I'm gonna give you one and then just click on borrow pass so it's gonna um, say requested so you basically need to tell your manager that <coughs> Um, you're, you've already requested to borrow it and then they should uh, then activate it, right? So I'm going to activate this uh, just a second and then uh, once it's activated, I think you just need to refresh and then it will say pass activated, right? So again, uh, borrow the pass and then Whoever you're borrowing from, let them know that you you borrowed it, and then once they they should tell you when it's been activated, and then just refresh, right? And then uh, you're basically ready to play. Um, so uh, going through here, this this first one is the actual uh, place where you're gonna be uh, basically uh, trying to catch the uh, the binaries. So uh, this is where you select your bait. So right now, when you start, you get like uh, 30 fruits, right? So all you have to do is choose your bait and then set the bait. Um, and then you get a 15 minutes cooldown, right? So basically, you can. You can just do whatever you want, play some more games, some other games, and then come back in 15 minutes. And then some, uh, what do you call this? There should be some binary showing up. If there's no binaries that showed up, just refresh, right? But there's nothing right now, so just wait for 15 minutes. You can come back whenever you want within that, within that uh, countdown and uh, see if there's any and you want to show it up, right? And then you can press, uh, don't press end expedition, otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna waste your, uh, your bait, right? So you have the bait here, you have a limited amount of bait, and also a limited amount of, uh, of gold. Um, and then this is your, your energy, right? So we'll go through this, I guess. Um, time. This is your current level, right? This is the the area that you're basically hunting, right? Um, then you have energy, and then this increases. Um, so whenever you uh, you try and catch one, um, this decreases, I think, and then it just 
recharges. I think this is the primer for recharge. Um, and then whenever you level up, your energy amount increases, right? This is the amount of gold um, that you have. So um, you need gold to buy more bait, right? So whenever you use this, then your bait goes down, right? So if you don't catch anything, then you lose the bait, right? So in order to catch more, then you have to buy more of bait. Um, what else? Uh, on this, on this one is basically uh, just an overview. You'll you'll see some uh, some of the transactions here. Or like your activity, uh, this is your active date, and uh, I think this is this this your catches, um, and then this one basically lists all of the binaries that you've caught. Um, since we're starting, there's nothing there, and then this this all of the baits that you you have or bought um, rigs. Uh, right now, there's only one type of rig, the one. That they give you by default, and then this is the pass that you're, you have, right? And then over here is the uh, the shop or the marketplace, and then this is where you're buying baits, right? Um, when you first start, I suggest don't don't buy any of this yet, right? The most important part is to buy. For me, anyway, I'd buy more of this. I'll just buy the whole thing. So now I have zero. Yeah. Because what I want to do is is basically uh, increase the amount of gold I have for now and increase my level, right? So so you see here, um, one of the binaries showed up already. Uh, but let's wait for a little bit more to see if there's more that shows up. So yeah, so like I think with different baits you might get uh, different binaries, binaries to show up. But um, the problem is you don't want to run out of gold and you don't want to run out of bait, right? So when you're starting, I would I would start with this. And try to catch as many as you can. Whenever you catch one, you gain gold. So if you could get it to like 20,000, 30,000, right? And then you can start buying some of this. Um, and then over here are all the different uh, areas that you have currently available. I think there's gonna be, and then you can go to different areas here too, right? But they all unlock after uh, like a certain number of uh, level, right? So right now you're level one, so you can go here or over here. But you have to pay gold every time you transfer, right? And currently the marketplace is only available. When you're on the city of Tecta. So if you're here and you run out of bowl, uh, of bait, then you have to come back to the city to uh, buy some more bait, right? So this is going to be unavailable if you're in the glowing forest or the slums, right? So you want to, when you're first starting, just try and uh, buy more of this bait to increase your gold and uh, to level up. Right, when you have a lot more money, um, then you can start practicing with different dates. Uh, but you always want to have a cheap ones and maybe catch some of this basic ones um, so that you don't ever run out of baits or gold. Right, I think that's the most important part for now. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to uh, you have two already. Um, just a second. So I'm gonna. You can click on anyone, or or any 
of the ones that you feel like you want to catch, right? Um, and then you need to select your your rig, which is sort of like your Pokeball. And then if you want if you want to equip bait, you can do. But basically, if if you equip bait, um, you're gonna waste that one too, or basically you're gonna spend that one, right? So if it's something basic like this, I don't um, like Vespo and uh, Latifus, which is like a bug. Um, try not to spend any any extra bait, right? So you spend one bait here, and then you can also spend another bait here, right? So that's gonna cost you like basically five hundred gold for for two fifty gold each. Um, so I try not to waste that. Um, for if you only see this once, if you see something that's different, then you can like, equip some more uh, bait. Uh, yeah, some other different baits. Well, for this ones, I just use the rig, right? Save your bait, um, and then you can start expedition. And then that's gonna show up, right? So this is basically the binary uh, for best build. Um, I do just do play, play, and then catch. Ah. So you didn't catch that one, which sucks. <laughs> um, so now you just wanna set bait again. Right, and then wait. Um, what else? Maybe I, maybe you just need to do it fast. But we'll see. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna wait again, and then see. If I can show you um, something that I actually punched something. Okay, so we have another one here. Um, I don't really know how to catch this. So we're just gonna go through the actions. You can basically you basically have to experiment. Catch. I... Okay, let's do one more. So you see why I said um that you want to be careful about running out of bait, right? So right now I have zero, I have the, uh, minus two baits, but haven't caught anything. So it's, you won't always catch the binary. That's why you want to try and stack up your gold and your bait when you're first starting out. So you just gotta wait again. Alright, so we have some Laticus here. Let's try and get this guy. I think he likes to fight. So, uh, another one that you can do is like look for right on the square. And, uh, And see if they have any uh, what do you call this clips on it. Uh, but for me, I'll just give it a little fight. Yeah, there you go. So once you catch it, um, what do you call this? So you gain some uh, some points, and you also uh, gain some experience, right? So now you can you can buy basically four. Or five more of the uh, the basic bait, um, and then you can see your your patch here, right? So the goal is to basically um, try to attach the rare ones, right? Um, I think those are the ones that you can sell or will sell the best. 
um, later on. So uh, it's basically a race to uh, to catch the most rare ones and they and probably like get to the uh, <coughs> the different areas to catch um, some of the very first ones. So you wanna try and level up and yeah. In terms of uh, spending time um, when you're playing Axie or you're, you're, you're playing the uh, big Axie ones, you can just set your bait and then come back here. All right? Um, I think that should be most of the basic ones. All right, thanks.